Hey guys, Shen here, bringing you another Pokemon Online battle. Um, this one is against a. Uh, okay, yeah, this one's usually comes. I can't pronounce it. Shavalku, whatever it's called. Little about my Heatran, who's actually Scarf and Tib in nature, because I expected the Sable Light to be a lead. And yeah, I was right, but uh, had a confuse ray. But doesn't really matter. I wasn't confused. I just overheat. So since nothing's really gonna appreciate that, and I go to my Squiggly, who's gonna wall the crap out of this Rotom Wash. Can't do anything against this for Switch. Go for the Toxic on the Switch. Um, it missed, but it wouldn't have affected him anyway. Then I go for the Scald, hoping for the Burn, so I don't have to worry about a Brave Bird doing much damage to anyone on my team. I go into Starmie, since Skarmory is just setting up spikes. I really don't have to worry. I go for the Thunderbolt, scare out, but then it was safe on the Switch anyway. Then I go for the Rapid Spin. The Chandy goes for Toxic and doesn't really do much because I have a Lumberry, so it didn't matter. Then I go into my Scizor, who's obviously going to be immune to the Toxic, and I start setting up my Swords Dance as he protects. He gets expects to scout and see what I do. And fearing the Superpower, I guess he goes into Sableye, but does not really going for it? Just want to go for another Swords Dance, expecting a switch, and start bullet punching everything in the face. Then first does the Sableye, then Gliscor gets it, he has a Fire Fang, which is interesting. Um, and then I'm just gonna go for another bullet punch just to get rid of this glitch score or anything that switches in since nothing's really safe on social and on a times three attack, um, scissor. Then I go for the roost because I know it's just gonna whirlwind me away and survive or whatever, so I might as well just try to get my health all the way back up. And of course, goes right into Squiggly. Squiggly goes for the scowl, gets the burn, which is good because now has some residual damage on this car, Marie, because no matter what it's gonna do, it's sturdy, will not be activated now. Now he goes for the whirlwind again while I try to switch a storm we go to my heat challenger. I don't really mind because it's pretty much a safe switch into this guy. I'm just gonna overheat it. And there we go. Skarmory's down. He goes into his Alakazam, which I'm not really comfortable with, so I go right back into Squiggly, who's a special wall. I take whatever save uh, energy ball from Alakazam. And that was a big risk right there. And now I just toxic on the switch. And I end up hitting a chancy. So yeah, and excuse me. Didn't notice I burped until now. Goes to the size of me toss on my Lucario. Then he's gonna switch out and go into Rotom Wash while I set up a Sword Zance, and now I'm just gonna start extreme speed sweeping pretty much the remainder of this team. Which is gonna make this a 6 0 since Alexander does not have a focus set, so it's probably one of those Life Orb Magic Guard variants. And then I'm just gonna CC his Chansey, and it's gonna be the end of this match. Um, yeah, I'm testing out this Lucario. He's supposed to be shiny, and I think he's supposed to be Anubis, but this thing isn't showing it, so whatever. Um, let's just jump right into the next battle, which is against a Pokemon online player named Full Metal. And this was a pretty interesting match. I had a really big misplay, <laughs> not a few. Now he starts on with his Landorus, goes for the um, U turn, I go for the SD. And uh, he has the acrobatics on this um, Gliscor, which hurts a hell of a lot. And I'm just gonna go straight away for the Bullet Punch, just to get some damage on this guy. I'm gonna go for the acrobatics just to KO me. Then I'm going to go into my Heatran, and just to overheat, which is pretty much the safest thing I can do, and if he switches into anything, I'll just, yeah, I won't really appreciate overheat. Um, I go to Squiggly on this uh, Landorus, he goes for the U-turn, and goes right into a Celebi, and I'm just like, ah, uh, crap, and I'm going to go into my Heatran, and <laughs> I should have seen that coming, because the Earth powers and just destroys my Heatran completely. Then I go into Stormy, which is another big play, because that Giga Drain just O-Codes my Stormy, and I'm already down 5-3. Go to my Lucario, set up a Swords to see what happens, and he has Earth Power, and gets a crit. Probably didn't matter, because probably would have died anyway, and that's <laughs> pretty much done already. Go to the Giga Drain, destroys my Squiggly, and as you see, this guy just like swept my team with a freaking Celebi. And this is where I notice I messed up, because I go for the T-Wave here, and Miltank has Sap Sipper. So I could have been immune to the grass Giga Drain. I could have at least lured it out, go for the body slam, and start doing some damage on the Celebi. Probably would have changed the title of this match drastically, but hey, I wasn't thinking. I fucked up a lot. And he goes for the Earth Power, and it says replay ends here, but what happened there actually was he got a crit and just killed my little tank. I guess it saves some stalling. Um, but hey, I could have done a lot better. I need to pay more attention, as you guys see. Um, then moving straight on into the next battle, I have, don't even remember what the hell this guy's name was. Let's see as soon as I hit play, hopefully I don't take too damn long. Um, there you go, Shenen Test. And now, I was to say out this other set, I have a Mana Swine, then I go into my Sableye, just to take the Fire Blast from this guy, which isn't the smartest thing to do, but I was lacking a Flash Fire guy in this immediate moment. Then he's gonna go for the Nasty Plat, which is like, oh boy. But he's Life Orb, so that's actually good, I just go for the Taunt to avoid... 
any more, um, yeah, setups, because I really don't need that right now. And thankfully, he's already on the 70% thanks to the life warp stuff. I'll go to my Starmies, just to hit him with the side sugar, just to get rid of some fur and so before he, like, ends up sweeping the rest of my team. Because I really can't afford that. And I go to my Gyarados. I love this set for Gyarados. Go to the Timidate just to nullify the whole U-churn and all that stuff. Um, he goes into his Rotom Wash, which I really don't need right now. And I go into my Mammal Swine, which is a stupid move because it was a Hydra Pump I and mean, not a Thunderbolt. Kind of predicted that switch. And I go right back into Derp. And Derp is, yeah, Derp is epic as you see once more in this video. I really love this guy, but I'm trying not to use him too much because uh, I'm focusing around too much on him. I need to create a good team with a good synergy. Because I focus around with Pokemon, because as soon as Drip goes down, my team pretty much falls apart most of the time. Now, he, you know, I have my Amnesia and my bulk ups already set up, so I'm pretty much ready to start walling and start doing some decent damage to whatever's here and there. I'm paralyzed, and he goes for the Leech Seed. And that's pretty interesting because I'm not mistaken, I think Shedskin is going to heal my paralysis rather soon. Um, it goes up to Rotom Wash. Rotom Wash is going to miss the first Hydro Pump, which I am grateful for, honestly. Um, then you have the. There you go, paralysis is healed. And I believe I'm just going to go for another bulk up. Yeah, go for another bulk up, but sooner I'm going to go for another Amnesia just to try to min minimize the damage this guy will be able to do to me. Eh, do to me. Because he's just a special attacker. Um, now that Derp has 3x special defense, which is really freaking high, because it's 296 times 3. You can do the math there, I'm too lazy. Um, now he has 2.5 attack and 2.5 defense, so he's gonna wall and start damaging whatever's there. This guy goes for the pain split, don't really see why. Uh, I think it was a stupid move on his part, but whatever. To each his own. Those are the only way to keep paralyzing him, even though Shedskin's just gonna heal it eventually. But it's still some scary moments where I thought I would've lost this match thanks to that. But thankfully, yeah, Derp is gonna pull through as you see. Spoiler, but you people get over it. Um, yeah, I go for the Drain Punch, and this is where Derp just pretty much proceeds to finish off his team because the Scizor fails to get a crit for once. Because in almost every other battle, they get a crit on Derp on like the first turn. It's just like God saying, "Nah, you're not setting up with this guy. He is too good to be true." But otherwise, this match pretty much finishes off with Derp finishing everything else off. Moving on from that, um, yeah, uh, just pretty much rate, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think of the teams I've been using, because I'm just gonna keep trying out. I've hit a pretty high ranking, if I saw myself, I think 8,000 out of 47,000 on the Smogon server, so, uh, yeah, I wish you guys, well, you guys wish me luck, because I'm trying to go for the top. This is Shit, signing off, take care.